Hello, a very good afternoon to all of you. Guys, this video tutorial is about PHP and MySQL connectivity. In this video, I will tell you how to connect PHP and MySQL through WAM server. Okay? For your projects, you require a database connectivity uh, through any server. So I am just telling, I am here telling you the P PHP and MySQL connectivity with WAM server. Okay? So guys, to learn this you need only two things first of all you need a text editor here i'm using a sublime text editor you can use notepad plus plus notepad uh, dreamweaver anyone and you need a installed wam server so if you don't know how to install and download the wam server please watch my previous video okay so let's start with this uh, video so for creating any connectivity, any database connectivity, you will require a database. So before connecting, we will create a database. So just click on the green panel of WAM server. Here you will find a PHP my admin. Okay, just click on it. Here you can see there are lots of options. Database, SQL, status, users, export, import, setting replication variables charge set engines okay so this is a wam server structure okay so if you want to create a database in the wam server you have to just click on the database and here there is an option for database create database so here you can give the name to your database for example on which you are creating a database let's suppose main yahan par students ke upar main database create karna chahta hu to main usko ek naam de deta hu database ko student ke liye main stud naam de deta hu theek hai ab main create pe click karunga to ye jo mera database hai stud karke wo create ho jayega so just check to yahan pe aap dekh sakte hai aapko message aa raha hai database stud has been created it means you have successfully created your database so you can see here from the left side so just click on stud and under that you can create a table for example i want to store name of the student uh, phone number and email id of the student okay so for that i will create a table here so so i will give a name to the table stud underscore record okay because it's a student's record so i am just giving the name uh, name as you want you can give so here it is asking for number of columns so for example i want three columns that is name email id and phone number so i will give here three and after filling these things i will go on to the next sorry go on to the go button okay click it here you can say it is giving a structure so here you can give a name create your table uh whatever the attributes you want i want name okay i want name and here is a asking for type it is a data type so name ka aapko data type dena hai for example yahan pe dekhiye aap scroll down karenge uh, drop down pe use karenge to isme aapko bahut sare options milenge okay to so, name ke liye mostly use hota hai where care or text so i will use where care to so, yahan pe length and variable values so you can give the values to your where care so names is almost of 15 to 20 characters so we will give 30 okay here you can set a default value null value if you want to set or here you can select the attributes binary unsigned unsigned and on step current time step okay if you want to uh, accept the null value also so you can check this box and if you want to give any uh, primary key or unique key so you can give from here okay so the name can be same of the two person so i will i am not giving anything to here okay so and after that you can see there is a lots of options there is a comment option you can give comment also here okay so now, now the next row uh, next row mein main chahta hu ki mera usme email id email id wahan pe store ho email id ke liye main uska data type dunga uh, as i said here you can give both where care and text so i am giving a where care and here specify the size or the length of the where care so i am just giving a 40 and because email id are unique 
of everyone so i am giving an index to it unique okay so on to the next row i want a phone number sorry i want a phone number so phone number i am giving it the data type integer because it's a number okay and here you can give or you may not give it is not necessary to give a values length to the integer value okay so because the phone number also be a unique so i will give a index to it unique okay after filling this table attributes you have to just click on the save so your table in the database stood will be created so here you can see your student record is created okay so by here you can see the structure how it looks like like here is a name where care collection attribute no okay if you want to change anything so just click on to it change so now here you can change for example name attributes mein aapko koi changes karni hai aapko default value dena hai attributes bhi dena hai so you can change from here otherwise leave it as it is okay so after creating so after creating this table okay you will write the code php code to access this table okay so that thing i will tell you in the next video so by for now just learn how to create a database now to create a table in the database okay so for example if you want to change this email you can change from here okay so if you want the if you want to increase the size of it and if you want to give any attribute to it so you can give it from here okay or uh, if you want to add any column for example i want uh, one more column here i want one more row here for example name email and phone i want the address also okay so by here you can add the rows and columns so if for example if i want one a uh, call uh, row to be end, added into this list so at the end of the table or at the beginning of the table it is where you want to add this for example i if i want to add it at the end of the table so i will check i will check this radio button okay and i will give uh, i will click on to the go so here again i can give for example i want address so i will give it a name and data type and the length of that data type and index or whatever you want to give you can give okay after doing this you have to click on the save okay so here you can see that table stood record has been altered successfully because you have added one more row so it is showing that alter okay so click here you will see the structure so see here there is a four rows okay one row added into this list okay so guys this we this is about how to create a database and how to create a, a table into your database now on to the next video i will tell you how to insert a uh, records into your table and how to fetch records from your table okay so thank you for watching this video aage ki videos bhi dekhte rahiye is series ke liye jo ki aapko bahut hi helpful rahenge aapke projects mein and aapke websites okay thank you guys